Agalasia, it's a rare disorder that makes it difficult for a person to eat or drink. There are around 200,000 people in the United States living with the condition, but now there is relief available for people living with it right here in eastern North Carolina. WNCT's Emily Gibbs has the story. It goes up your arm, it goes up into your ear, it goes through your back. All the signs of a woman having a heart attack. And they told me I had reflux, so. This is what Sandra Callis went through long before she got answers. I quit eating. Like, he would cook a meal and I would eat three bites of his pork chop and two bites of his cabbage and I was done. Her life began to change and instead of carrying an appetite, she carried pain relief. Everywhere we went, I always had a cooler with ice water, bacon soda and crackers. It wasn't until her pain got worse that she was diagnosed with achalasia, a rare disorder that makes it impossible to swallow. Little did Sandra know she would be dropping her home remedies for a surgery that would change everything. This works, this opens up that obstruction that's at the bottom part of the esophagus and allows food to go through so people can eat again. The procedure is called POEM and it works to relieve achalasia by cutting the inside of the esophagus so food can pass. The bottom portion is too tight. It's like if you're squeezing icing on the cake but the cap's still on on the, on the thing it was squeezed. But this new procedure is more than just exciting to Miss Callis. It's exciting to the surgeons here at ECU who were among the first in the state to perform the surgery. I was really glad when my doctor said, Sandra, we got one right here. I was excited. There's options for patients and no one, no one should go down without being able to eat their cheeseburger. <laughs> In Greenville, Emily Gibbs, 9 on your side.